Thanks to Avast Software, here's the Security News Roundup for the week ending May 8th, 2020. Another week, another breach. This one from GoDaddy, the world's largest domain registrar, which has disclosed a data breach impacting web hosting accounts and credentials. Security incident came to light after suspicious activity was recently identified on some GoDaddy servers. Although the breach itself appeared to date back to October of 2019, luckily the breach is limited only to hosting accounts. Since we're on the subject of breaches, a LabCorp shareholder has filed a lawsuit against the laboratory giant, accusing its board of concealing details of two data breaches that affected millions of their patients. The suit also accuses LabCorp of failing to disclose the breach in a widely disseminated public release or SEC filing, adding that the incidents noted in the complaint were unlawfully concealed from LabCorp shareholders. A LabCorp spokesman, of course, said the lawsuit will be vigorously defended. This breach entails user information found in resold Tesla parts. It probably doesn't affect too many of us, but hackers are always looking for ways to steal information. If you own a Tesla, watch out how your used parts are treated. They should have had any information wiped, which apparently doesn't always happen. This week also happens to be the 20th anniversary of the I love you virus, which affected many, many people quite some time ago. Some folks haven't learned. They still like to click on links in unknown emails, still think that they can make a fortune by entering contests that they receive via email and all sorts of bogus and spam emails that they receive. This week, we've also seen an uptick in spoofing. Spoofing is impersonating a user, a device, or a network. These hackers are getting better at the art of deception. There are times you can't tell the real site from the spoofed one. Never click on a link or call a phone number contained in any email where you aren't sure of its authenticity. Ransomware everywhere. In these modern times, you not only need to be cognizant of emails and web sites that may affect you and infect you. You also have to be careful of your smart devices. The last thing you want is to have your smart thermostat hold you for ransom. Either pay a fee or it will turn off your heat. Or if you have a smart door, pay a ransom. Or the next time you leave, I won't let you back into the house. And if you have a home alarm, if you don't pay up, I'll turn off your protection randomly. These are all kinds of things that can happen when you have a smart device of any kind. It needs to be as well protected as the rest of devices, just as you now protect your smartphones and tablets. It's a dangerous world out there, and we need to stay vigilant. That's it for this week. Stay safe. See you next week.